hi trying a different angle again but I just wanted to address this comment by a lovely TikTok friend on here um I am in no way I never make bashing comments and I, I never want it to be construed that way because I think all of these comments are great conversation starters they get me thinking sometimes um and I just wanted to say that in terms of my husband's old job we have moved on from it like we don't we don't talk about it at home the only reason we bring it up is when I ask hey have you gotten your payout yet for your overtime um, or your pay time off and have you gotten the reimbursement check for the money we paid out otherwise we have personally in our household moved on um, we don't let it take up rent-free space in our head anymore um, we used it as a learning experience. It opened our eyes to situations we otherwise would not have known were happening. So it was a learning tool. And my husband found strengths and weaknesses he didn't know he had that he can implement in his teaching, his methods and things like that. So it was a learning experience, but we harbor nothing more. Um, so I didn't want you to think we're just wallowing here at home. We, we wallowed enough while we were living it. Um, and that door shut quickly outside of inquiring, where's our money? <laughs> that being said, I don't think though we should stop talking about it. And by we, I mean me on my TikTok. Um, you know, unfortunately the mindset of it's in the past move on you know that type of sentiment if not those words usually not those words sometimes maybe but anyway that ideology is what has bred the situations we're in be it you know in jobs be it in education be it in you know economics be it in you know the problems we're having continued problems we're having with race, um, you know, women's rights, etc. Um, the mindset of the past is the past, what's done is done, move on, is not helping us move on. Um, by, we're not addressing the problems. Um, the sentiment works personally, emotionally to heal but in the broad scheme of things, in our community and in our world, it's not super helpful. Like I said, you know, without having lived it for this almost year, we had no idea of the problems going on in the healthcare system, in say, assisted living programs. We, we didn't know, nobody would know unless they worked it they wouldn't even know necessarily if they had family in it because there are a lot of curtains that are drawn for family of the residents but um the reason we didn't know is because there's no conversations and if the conversations are happening they're happening very in very small communities and not the communities and not the groups of people who need to hear it um and it's not that it's new it's that before now we didn't have social media to put things out on blast now we do so we need to put these situations out on blast we need to let people know what's going on and what's not right be it in our jobs be it in our social community be it in education whatever it is if we don't talk about it there's no way to fix it and like I said, I don't expect my little TikTok videos to be what, you know, catapults a social change. But even if it hits a couple ears, that's more than before. And it could just hit the right ear, you know, to maybe do something. Because I don't know what to do. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, we can say go to corporate, you know... That's not going to do anything. There is such turnover that who you complain to, lodge a formal complaint to, who, who could say, yeah, let's do something about it. They're gone in three weeks. 
and you know unfortunately you know say go to the news go to the paper go to whatever nobody's reading it anymore nobody's watching it anymore it's we've become so numb so it needs to be in a different way you know we need to let things be known in a different way and social media is the way talking about it is the way so I hope that if anybody's having an injustice done, if they're witnessing it, if they're experiencing it, that even if your hands are tied in lodging formal complaints somewhere, and even if you have, even if you've gone to the correct authorities, and if you can legally do so, put it out on blast. Don't harbor ill will in you. Move on from it within. But then once you've removed yourself from it personally, like we have, share your story, whatever that story is. Um, that's the only way we can make improvements. It's the only way we won't repeat things that were harmful from our past. It's, it's the only way to make improvements. And hopefully by the time my kids are in the workforce, they won't experience things like this because we're going to try to take care of it now. Maybe that's just a fluffy sentiment, but it's hard to hold out hope for things these days because things have gotten so rough with our silent recession and people who are drowning and everybody knows we're all drowning, whether it be financially and in our jobs and socially and medically and everything, we're all drowning and needing, you know, a little buoy thrown out to us to help us, that we've all become so numb. And I can only hope that we'll get through this numbness so that the generation that comes after us, you know, my kids and everybody else's kids and grandkids, nieces, nephews, whatever, don't have to go through this. You know, what was presented to us would be our life isn't happening and that's okay you know it's just if it, it's not right it's not right and like I said also the videos are therapeutic it's good to talk it's just good to talk that's why there's therapy. I can't afford therapy, so I got a TikTok. But, um, yeah. We're okay personally. We're moving on from the situation. But I still want to share the situation. <sighs> I hope you're doing well. And if you make a video sharing something in your life, that's affecting you negatively, tag me so I can learn about it. Because I want to learn more <laughs> of what's going on around me. As much as I sometimes want to shut myself in a bubble, I also want to know what's going on. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>